So I have totally been highly anticipating this film and checking it out. And now that I have seen it, I had a little bit of reserve and I think I pretty much confirmed that I was going to come out feeling the way I did. But we'll talk about it in a second. So let's get into the review of this new film right now. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel today for another review. So today we're going to be reviewing the film Monster, which is going to be dropping on Netflix May 7th. Now, this film has a star-studded cast. That's without question. I'll go over it in a second. But I knew once I read the premise, and I knew he was dealing with a black young man in New York, and he was going to trial for a murder, that it was just it, essentially I was going to just feel the same way I felt about every other film that's really highlighted this same scenario. And that's like kind of mellow. It's just kind of like, oh, here we go again with it. And I guess I was wondering, would I be surprised by anything coming out of it? And really, not really. Like, it was a good film. I enjoyed it. Uh, but I didn't leave out of it thinking like, oh, I saw something new. Uh, this was definitely one of those, we're not going to reinvent the wheel. We're going to let our cast do, does his job and, um, you know, and that should be, you know, suffice, hopefully, for its viewers. And for sure, like, again, the, the cast has Nas, ASAP Rocky, Jennifer Hudson, uh, the GOAT, Jeffrey Wright, um, along with John David Washington, Jarrell Jerome, and then your lead, Calvin Harrison from The Trial of Chicago 7, who plays Fred Hampton in that. So he does narrate this film, uh, Calvin, in this, and he's pretty much narrating himself as the, um, as he plays his character, Steve Harmon, who's a 17-year-old honor student. Uh, he wants to inspire to be um, a filmmaker, and he really excels. He's very innocent. Uh, he's naive even at times. He's likable. Uh, but nonetheless, his life changes as one day he finds himself essentially in the wrong place at the wrong time uh, as he is pretty much uh, considered to be an accomplice in a murder of a, of a of a store owner of this bodega shop. So as you know, we we follow him. Uh, you know, as he narrates, you know, pretty much all the events that led into the trial. Ultimately, um, everything that's happening in 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 the trial. And then when you start thinking about the title monster here, it's essentially um, how people view you. Regardless of if you are truly, you know, uh, responsible or um, or if you are charged with these crimes, it's the it's the idea of you are a monster first and foremost before you are even considered to be in, innocent. It's like guilty in, until proven innocent, and it's a whole profiling of you are a monster regardless because the shoe fits and it looks like you did it, so you are did it, and we see that. Um, that theme kind of bounced around here where, like, people judge you uh, based just strictly on how you look and, they, you know, and, and being a part of the and, and, and seeing how the the the, um, the, the, the the federal system treats these young men, essentially, is the, the profiling of it. And, like, how the film is done is that while it does show you the developments of the character and the, the developments of the events that are happening... You ultimately never see the crime that takes place towards the end of the film. So as the viewer, you're kind of sitting here wondering, like, are you also going to fall victim of profiling and considering him to be a monster before you actually see what happened? And then we see him pretty much, you know, narrating the film in the sense of like, you know, regardless of whatever I do, the jury... And the other folks, they're going to look at me this way, even before or after whatever the determination of this trial. And so uh, while that resonate with a lot of people, including myself, you know, considering that you get profiled just because of the color of your skin, um, it also didn't just wow me in, in regards to storytelling, because it's just like I've seen this story before or like I, I, I felt these emotions before. And it's not to say that the film isn't good. Because I, I did enjoy it. It's just the fact that I didn't leave out of this film like, okay, I learned something here or I, I, I grasped the message. And maybe the film isn't for me. Maybe it is for others who still may not understand what is the type to be profiled or what is the type to have 
uh, your whole world, you know, completely flipped from being in the wrong place at the wrong time or being an innocent kid and, you know, running with the wrong people and whatnot. So, you know, maybe that's who it's for. But for me, it's just like, you know, I appreciate it. But like, I really didn't grasp anything out of it. But overall, um, you know, as far as with the performances here, uh, Calvin, I, I liked his character. Um, you know what you're going to get with Jeffrey Wright, who plays his dad. Uh, very stern in any moment that he can get time to shine, he's going to do so. It is good to see Jennifer Hudson back in films. ASAP Rocky is exactly who you think he is. Nas is exactly who you think he is. John, da- John David Washington also plays, um, he plays a character counter to ASAP Rocky's character. Um, and, and so does Jarrell Jerome's character. So, like, you know, a lot of people in, 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 in regards to casting are playing roles that they're very comfortable in playing. Uh, so, again, that's why I'm saying I didn't see anything that kind of wowed me here. But overall, I did enjoy it. And I think a lot of people will enjoy it. And I think a lot of people will talk about it as well, too. Um, but nonetheless, uh, this is Monster. Again, it's released in May 7th on Netflix. Uh, totally check it out and let me know what you thought about this film. Let me know what, you know, essentially what messages you were able to pull from this film and so on. And by the way, this film de- did have um, a, um, a film festival release back in 2018. So some people may have already checked this out. And now that in 2021, I thought it aged pretty good for it to have been done for a while. So I'm not mad at that at all. Um, it definitely really holds. And then when you re- consider everybody's career at this point, um, it just fits the mode. I mean, everybody that's in this film is still really thriving um, and, um, and 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 still are putting on excellent or maybe even better performances. So, like, for this that came out a while ago, this seems to be a little bit ahead of its time. The, the aesthetics and everything of it looks really good, and it fits right now. Even, <laughs> even like, the, 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 the New York culture, I mean, like, even coming down to the wardrobe, everybody was nailing it, and, you know... Um, it's that Rocky is very big in the, in the fashion in- industry. So, you know, he had his say in that, especially being that it's in New York. Uh, so all of it, again, it, it, it aged well. So there's really no discrepancy of this being an old film or whatnot because it was initially released in 2018. You, it, it's not missing a beat at all. But, yeah, with that being said, folks, definitely check it out. Jump in the comments. Let me know what you think. And stay tuned because we got more reviews coming very soon. Thank you for watching.